This is Jillian Morris for the Investing News Network, coming to you live from PDAC 2018. Here with me is Quinton Yari, President and CEO of Red Pine Exploration, trading on the Toronto Venture Exchange under RPX. Thank you for joining me, Quinton. Thank you. In 30 seconds, can you give me a breakdown of your company and its value proposition to investors? Sure. Uh, Red Pine Exploration got involved in this project, which is the Wawa Gold Project. It's on the North Shore of Superior in Ontario uh, back in 2015. At that time, we had done a resource statement of approximately a million ounces, which we recognized was a good start, but not an economic model. Uh, currently, we're changing that model to look and take advantage of the underground uh, options available to us there and looking at a high-grade model which is not dissimilar to everybody else in the camp. So what are you currently working on? Well that's the big catalyst I guess for us is we're taking that million ounces at 1.7 million ounces and, and looking to develop it into something north of five grams per ton. Uh, since the last resource statement we've drilled over 40,000 meters and reviewed over 16,000 meters of historic core and in the next few weeks to a few months, we will be putting out revised, uh, inferred and indicated resources. So what makes your company unique, Quentin? Uh, I think we were one of the first movers in this historic gold camp of, of Wawa. You know, it was a forgotten greenstone belt, if you were. It really was Ontario's first gold rush back in the 1800s. Uh, but once iron took over uh, in the area, uh, sort of the gold was forgotten about and Timmins became the area of play. Uh, the camp's really been woken up recently by the Alamos purchasing Richmond Mines. So I know you've already discussed some catalysts with us already, but can you go into some more detail about what that, the significance of those to our investors? Well, obviously the first thing that uh, Red Pond wants to do is increase for shareholder value, right? Okay, so with a non-economic resource that uh, we knew we needed to fix in some fashion. There's no doubt there is gold on the property, mm -hmm. uh, but there's also existing infrastructure. We have over probably $100 million of drifts, adits, and shafts, so we wanted to take, be able to come up with a high-grade system to take advantage of that, and that model's holding together very well. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Quentin. No, thank you. This has been Jillian Morris for the Investing News Network, your trusted source for investment success at PDAC 2018.